Hi there, welcome to The Beaten Trail, and in this episode we take a ride with the Generations Club on their memorial ride. Not too far from where we were staying, a short ride and we heard about this as we were up there riding the pilot program, and we decided to stop in and take a ride. Starting here at Larry's, they had everything set up and adequate parking. It was $20 to do this ride, which was about 20 something miles, and it was great leased land, and it was amazing. So we got lined up, got our wristband, and signed a waiver. Ah, somebody's excited. And they had silent auctions and raffles, and there would be food later. People just started taking a ride out on the trail, and we were eager to get out as well. The path led us out to the back of Larry's and to the local property, which wasn't too far away, and a nice river crossing to start out with. The trails opened up to some nice meadows. Everything was very well labeled as far as direction, and they were one-way trails, which is always nice. Up into the mountains we went, a bunch of switchbacks until we got up top, and there was just such a wide assortment. It was very reminiscent of some other locations in New York, like Tar Hollow that we've ridden before. There were two to 300 people at the event, it was not busy, and it was great. We would run into some people, and some people would be out there enjoying the day, but it was not busy. There were ATVs and side-by-sides, and all different levels of riding. It was really a great family event. At one point, we came to the famous mud pits that everybody was talking about, and we wanted to see who was going to be getting muddy. Me being on the Grizzly, not really equipped for doing deep mud, so we decided to go take a look and see what we could find as far as volunteers. You can do it! There you go! Woo! Oh, we got some, uh, some action. It's a, it's a little mucky. A little mucky. It's, it's, it's uh, ripe though. It's, it's got kinda, some good uh, like, uh, peanut butter at the bottom. Yeah, it's got some good muck. The trails were very well put together and they were nice and wide. We had a couple areas where there was some good mud and good dirt but anybody in really any ATV or side-by-side -side could get through it without any problems. Obstacles were minimal, so it was a very smooth ride. There were places where you could pull off and check your phone or take a break, and just overall, it was a great experience. They made sure that by the time you were done with it, the one way going back down the hill was truly one way. And that was done for safety purposes, and it really worked out well. And when we got back, food was included in your $20 donation. Hot dogs and hamburgers and salads and beans and a drink. And the staff did a great job to make sure everybody had exactly what they wanted. The event for uh, a former trustee of the Generations Club that tragically passed away at 37 years old. The Moose Riders started a ride to benefit the, the children. And it has grown and grown and grown 
and generations now after the moose riders gave it to us have taken over and we still do the ride for the children for trust funds and things like that okay excellent and also for the local fire company right. the local ambulance company other locals that need help Boy assistance Scouts. Okay. Scouts. okay and that's in and we're in the town of Ulysses. Ulysses. Okay. In Galton, Pennsylvania. Yeah, because we donate to them. Well, we, yeah, we donate yeah. to Galton, too. Okay. And uh, our club started in 19 or 2010. 2010. 2010. 2010. So, around for quite a while, too. And that's the Generations Club. Okay. And today, we obviously went out and it was uh, great uh, land, and this is leased from. In the lumber company and lime corporation okay didn't know what they called it this year yeah <laughs> okay good yeah and it was all different assortment of trails and river crossing and mud and <laughs> bogs and everything, everything. Yep. good there. roads yeah 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 it's a it's a good family event too and you have food afterwards for everybody and there's donations i saw the local boy scouts are here as well yep and obviously you work with larry's correct you're such a big help yes. i mean we can't say enough for larry's Cheryl and Wesley and Jordan. And, and we, you know, we, we have to thank everybody, which we can't name. But all this stuff that sits out here on the Simon Oxen table is all donated. For multiple, multiple businesses and people throughout the area. Evans from Westfield to Galton to Cowdersport. Oh my so, gosh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I had them last year from Mansfield. Yeah. yeah. And our big thing is family and veterans. Um, what we do with the money that we have at the end of the year after we pay our lease and insurances and whatever maintenance we, minor maintenance we have to do, we do wounded warrior hunts uh, that we actually take out a wounded warrior and he is guaranteed a hunt and it is amazing. That's great. That's that's a great thing to do. We actually do four of them. Yeah, we do two at a place out by Butler, Pennsylvania, and then two over by Wellsboro. So like last year, uh, we got two 150 class white tails out by Butler and two buffalo Wow. at Stony Fork Hunts. Yep. And they're a big part of us at Shiloh Ranch out in Fennelton, PA, at Stony Fork Hunts out of Wellsboro. And what was the one that we did, the original one? We should give him a shout out even to down in Lancaster. I, I, I don't remember, remember that. I right? can't remember. I can't remember the name. But yeah. there was a gentleman down in Lancaster that uh, helped us with our very first hunt. I just remember it was Sergeant Joe, and he shot a non-typical 23-point white tail buck. Wow. Which should have been shot in the first 15 minutes, but we didn't think it was one because it was so big, and mm -hmm. it took us two and a half, three more hours to push it back to him. Wow. Well, he was like paraplegic, wasn't he? Uh, he Sergeant Joe, he had a um, IED go off and lost his right side, paralyzed, wind up having a stroke after that. Luckily, he was a left-handed left -handed shooter, and luckily he made a hell of a shot at about 200 yards on this tremendous white tail buck. Very nice. 23 point. Yeah. A lot of our veterans that, that we interact with are, Frank oh. is here helping us. So, uh, Monk. I mean, we're, we're, yeah, Monk was here at the ride. We're making lifetime friendships with them. Yeah. Well, it's great that you do this this ride yeah. for not only the locals, but for the people that benefit from, you know, the money that you raise, great sense of community too. There's not, there's less and less of these rides all over the Northeast, not only because of insurance reasons. Yeah. So, but it's uh, great that you guys do this. We're really happy we found out about this ride and took part in it. It was a great experience to see new trails and meet new people and just have a great time out there for a great cause. Big thanks to Larry's who was able to host this. Just overall, it was put together so well that we can't wait to do it again. So thank you again, everybody who took the time to talk to us and to put this all together. Of course, we can't mention everybody, but we do appreciate everybody. I'd like to thank our partners and our sponsors. We appreciate having you on board. Get over to Lit Industries for the brightest rock lights you'll ever find. You can also pick up some merchandise over at the Beaten Trail store. We thank you for watching, and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks.